Item Number SCP-6130 Object Class Safe Formerly Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures SCP-6130's functionality is to be maintained indefinitely. Once per year, personnel stationed in extraterrestrial sites are to examine SCP-6130 for faults or flaws that may have produced incorrect results. This file is restricted to personnel of Level 4 Plus or 3 Plus Department of Tactical Theology credentials unless otherwise specified by senior staff. Description SCP-6130 is an electronic device developed by the Department of Tactical Theology in 1988. Approximately 1.5 cubic meters, it possesses various equipment designed to remotely record information about Akiva radiation. Footnote 1. Akiva radiation is an anomalous particle created through worship and the primary source for most divinity. SCP-6130's primary purpose is to utilize the charge of emitted Akiva radiation to determine the relative level of sanctity of an individual, according to the relative moral standards laid out by the subject's religion. Footnote 2. For various reasons, atheistic and agnostic individuals tend to have extremely negative charges. Obscure, artificial, or non-divine religions tend to have equivalent results or produce charges compared to their closest equivalent religion's morality standards. In a paper written by Neo-Pagan Division Director Astrid Nilsson regarding Akiva Radiation, she postulated the following. However, assuming that this understanding of Akiva charge is accurate, which all evidence suggests is the case, it follows that, assuming some form of afterlife exists, it is feasible to use SCP-6130 to determine the afterlife an individual will receive. Following its presentation to Director Muhammad al taqi in 1991, SCP-6130 was approved for modification in order to expand the scope of its input. This project was further funded in 1992, following various concerns and theological implications, and completed in 1994, along with the scientific theory to confirm the postulates of the paper prior were true. In 1995, SCP-6130 was successfully launched into orbit in order to have an unobstructed view of the entire Earth. Addendum: Since 1995, SCP-6130's input data has been consistently in fluctuation as expected. However, using all available models for objective analysis of the data, the final results of SCP-6130 have been entirely uniform since its initial observations. SCP-6130 Results Summary Data has been categorized into positive, neutral, negative, and other categories under colloquial terms. Equivalents of individual religions are not present but are included in the approximate results. Analysis of SCP-6130 data concludes the following status of the projected afterlife of humanity with 99.98% confidence on average. Heaven, approximately 0%. Purgatory, approximately 0%. Hell, approximately 100%. Other, approximately 0%. Attempts to disprove this result have been met with failure. Level 5 Credentials Required In the event the moral beliefs of a Foundation employee become an obstacle in the performance of their duties, especially in matters relating to theology, the utilization of Protocol LF-93 is authorized. Individuals subjected to Protocol LF-93 are to be blacklisted from accessing the full SCP-6130 file. Protocol LF-93 can only be carried out by a staff member of higher authority, henceforth practitioner, that maintains a positive relationship with the target, henceforth subject. The practitioner is to approach the subject in casual conversation and slowly broach upon the topic of their recent moral quandaries. 
After ensuring the emotional intensity of the conversation has reached a point that they deem acceptable, the practitioner is to make a premeditated spontaneous decision to illicitly show the subject the SCP-6130 file as seen above. The practitioner is to show some level of remorse at this decision, but maintain that they believed it was necessary for the subject to see in order to resolve their conscience. They should explicitly apologize to the subject before sending them away. The apology may be sincere. Although a majority of subjects display despondency for the first two to five weeks post-exposure, Protocol LF-93 has been shown to have an 83.4% long-term success rate among religious researchers in quelling moral hesitancy. The remainder of subjects behave erratically, and will inevitably require forced amnestization in accordance with Fire Suppression Department guidelines. SCP-6130 does not actually exist, and was never constructed by the Department of Tactical Theology. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon, and a special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, Tanis, Ruler of All, Kenway, and Doomsday LLC, Prince, and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out my Patreon. Link in the description.